Good morning. It is 5.30. I'm just getting ready to leave. The snowstorm that they were talking about is coming in just as predicted. So they're talking about an inch or two from midnight until 6 a.m. It's 5.39 right now and we have about an inch. The snow is going to start picking up now throughout the day. The heaviest snow is going to be this afternoon. They're talking about 6 to 11 inches. There is a winter storm warning. We're going to be busy today uh, and we'll be plowing all night tonight as well doing a final cleanup. I'll take you guys along for all that. Finally, it snowed in Wisconsin. It is January, can't even remember myself, January 9th right now, which is amazing that we haven't had any big snowstorms up until today. All right, well, I'm going to take this trash out. I'm going to get in my 15-minute work clothes workout, and then I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. Hey, Annie. No. It's time to take the garbage out. Hey, Annie. Hey, Annie. She thinks this is funny. Come. Annie, now you're trapped in the corner. Now what are you gonna do? This calls for the cat toy. It's like fishing. Come and get your toy. Come and get your toy. She's not taking the bait. Come on, Annie. All right. I'm going to the last resort. Annie, you want a treat? Uh, <laughs> oh, I see that worked like a champ. Gotcha. How much garbage do we make? Yes, I'm giving her a treat. I didn't just trick her. Good work. Well played today, Annie, well played. So Daniel is super excited about his new snowblower. That's all he talked about all last night. So he's looking forward to today. He's gonna give that snowblower a really good workout, I am sure. This is about all we got right now. About an inch, inch and a half maybe. It's very, very heavy snow. It's the mashed potato heart attack snow. Looking at morning snow, high of 24. Sunday, 16 is the high. Yeah, here comes winter. Get you check them. All right, just pulled up to the gym. Going to do my little workout. I did remember my keys this morning, unlike yesterday. There are a couple people here this morning. The snow is not that bad. It's really only about an inch here. I don't think it's going to be a fair test for the new Ego because this snow is really heavy. It's actually raining a little bit now on top of what's already fallen, so I don't think that snowblower is going to do too great. Really, no snowblower would do real great today. Just got done with the workout. Now I'm going to grab some coffee and then I'm going to drive over to the church and just see if anything needs to be done. What's going on? How much? How about yourself? Done your workout so far this morning? I just did my 15 minute work clothes workout. I just got done. <laughs> yeah, when are you, you going to come and join me? You got work clothes. You're ready. One of these days. Okay. All right. Good morning. Good morning, Ms. E. I'm doing well. How are you? Good. Good. All right. You ready for all this? I changed my pin number. I had to change my pin number. You want to know why? Because I showed it on video right here. No. Yeah. I hope ain't nobody gonna try to jump you later. Well, hopefully not. Exactly. I'm pre I'm prepared, Ms. Z. Don't don't you worry about that. Good. All right. Okay. Have a great day. You asked for change. I did. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Because I don't. Maybe I did. I don't know if I did. Okay. I didn't mean to, but thank you. Thank you. All right. Have a good day. Out thank morning. you, man. Thank you. You guys working today? What are you doing? Uh, core samples in the ground. Yeah. We're building a bridge on Green Bay. 
Oh, so you're testing the soil basically? Yeah, see if it'll, it's firm? Yep, yeah, they're digging 100 feet down. 100 feet down? Yeah, so each shot will be like two, three hours. Okay, I'm gonna drive over to the accounts, enjoy my coffee. I don't think anything needs to be done yet, but I'm gonna go check it out, make sure everything's fine. Well, I'm throwing my eggs away. I took one bite, and it's not that I'm sick of eggs. Something's wrong with those eggs. Those things taste terrible. Like maybe they're really, really old. I don't know, but that was disgusting. Ugh. Mike's out plowing already. Mike's here. I'm gonna hold off for a while. I'm gonna go rest, kind of lay around for a while. Cause I know later today, I'm gonna get started and it'll be a long, long night. Yeah, the church parking lot, I pre-salted with a ton of salt yesterday and it's it's just some slush. There's nothing to do here. Nothing to do here, which is nice, real nice. I text Eric and Francisco already. Uh, Tino's ready to work. Big Ray's ready to work. Just pulling back up to the house, 645 right now. The snow's starting to pick up just a little bit, but it's gonna be at least a couple hours before anything needs to be done. So I'm gonna go lay around, pet Annie for a while, and then just, just watch and wait, see what happens. Well, it's been snowing for a couple more hours now, and it picked up. We got probably a couple inches of snow, and they officially called a snow day, so the CEO gets to be home doing your favorite thing. How's the snowblower working? Good, you want to see it? Oh, yes, sir. To be honest, that's kind of impressive because this snow, the consistency, I mean, it is, it is, it is like just pure water, um, but it's doing pretty good. Surprised it's not plugging up the chute. So I'm going to get ready and it looks like we got a little dry patch coming in for a little while, but I think I'm going to do round one here in just a little bit. Daniel was talking about that snowblower all night last night he was talking to all his sisters and anybody he could tell he was telling so this is like his dream come true brand new snowblower and he gets a snow day <laughs> we'll check we'll check back in with him a little later four-wheel drive it's that kind of a day I mean, it's piling up, but it's not snowing crazy right now, but they said in a couple hours this afternoon, it's gonna really, really pick up and it's gonna go nuts for a while. It's a nice place to drive right behind the plow and salt truck. City plows are out and about, they're doing their thing. There was about a week of advance notice. They've been talking about the storm for a long time. Everybody was well prepared. City trucks are all out in force, keeping everything nice and clean. Around here, they usually do a pretty nice job during the day. The nighttime, they let stuff slip and it gets ugly. Those wing plows are pretty awesome. It's gotta be about 12, 13, 40. It's gotta be at least 16 foot of blade on the ground right now, I would say. Something like that. I do the drive through at Dunkin' Donuts. I'm gonna grab me another coffee. It's been a while. It's uh, almost 10 o'clock in the morning right now. I got anything? Uh, large hot coffee with four cream, please. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Uh, I'm over here by the condos and it is just, it's not terrible. It's not terrible at all. Mike's plowing again. He's still at it. So Mike's not playing around. I think he's just going nonstop. But it's just not snowing that hard. It's still not snowing very hard. I mean, we literally have like two inches of snow so far. Man, it is just a bunch of really thick slush right now. Really thick slush. Like this here though, if you let this freeze tonight, you're done. <laughs> Completely done. When uh, Snow is that wet, you just can't let it go. I think what I'm gonna do here, cause there's so many people walking around, cause this is gonna be a mess for people walking. 
I think I'm gonna go ahead and scrape it once. Yeah, the guys are out here shoveling in their suits and ties. <laughs> he didn't look comfortable. Yeah, look at this stuff. Now that's what you call slop. Okay, I'm gonna start both of these, get them warmed up, get them going. You guys saw yesterday the plow is out of order for this one, so we're using the bucket, which is fine. I used to use the bucket all the time. I never, I didn't have a plow for years, so it's not a big deal. It just takes slightly longer because you got to make another pass. So both of these machines here, I'm going to be renting out come spring. I'll change the tires, put brand new construction tires. Both of those machines are still very good, capable machines. They're not, you know, rusted out piles of junk with high hours or anything like that. I still feel really comfortable renting these machines out and they can make some money for me this summer. Normally they just sit and do nothing in the summer. So it'd be nice to have those bring me a little income, help pay the bills. Now that my bills just went up a lot. <laughs> so I'm gonna let those warm up for 10 minutes. Gonna go look at a couple more things and then I'll come back and scrape this mess up. All right, let's get some of this slop cleared. I did lose my uh, magnetic, not my magnetic, my, uh, my suction cup mount for the windshield. And that is definitely the best view for the GoPros is a su suction cup mount. It's a little tip for you guys if you wanna do some recording or whatever, um, I'll show it to you. I'm gonna go today to Best Buy and get a new one. But it sits right here and it gives you a great view of the plow blade. You can see both ends of the plows. But I couldn't find it today. But I want to go buy another one because the head mount's okay, but you know it's kind of shaky and stuff. It's not the greatest. But I'll show you that if you guys want to do the same thing. This is some really, really wet snow. It's about as wet as, wet as it gets right here. It is 10.30 and I'm moving the slop. I had to move my pickup truck, but I don't know. Uh, they said this was gonna be a massive storm and maybe it's still coming, but so far I am not impressed. I am not impressed at all. Right now it's just a bunch of slop. I was expecting like, I think they were saying it would, there should be about four inches of snow right now. And we just have like two inches of slush and that's about it. This stuff is cool to move though. Look at all the water coming down. Just like a river. What's up, Mike? I don't know. I'm unimpressed so far. Yeah, me too. Where's the store, man? It's I like a. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I plowed this a while ago. It's not even sticking. Yeah. I don't know. I yeah. seen you plowing early this morning. I seen you plowing again. Yeah. I think you're anxious to get going. Yeah, I was excited to plant <laughs> the stuff. <laughs> if it don't, I mean, this is light snow. This ain't even gonna do nothing. No. If it don't start hammering soon, we're not gonna get a foot of snow. No, not there's no chance. All right, I'm gonna finish and then go home for a while and take another nap, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna plow this road at the condos and then uh, that's it. That's it for now, anyway. Okay, last pass. I'm gonna get something to eat. The snow's picking up a little bit, still nothing crazy. That's it for now. It is starting to snow pretty good now. 
So maybe this is the beginning of the blizzard. I'm gonna get some food. I'm gonna get the, uh, the suction cup mount from Best Buy. I should probably buy another camera too. Camera that's on my head right now, for whatever reason, it just shuts itself off in the middle of filming. And this isn't the first one. I've had several that started to do this for no apparent reason. Just open up the radar here. And obviously we're where the blue dot is and there is still a ton coming. We're nowhere near out of the woods. How's it going, Daniel? Good. Hi, Grace. Hello. <laughs> Do you love the snow? Okay, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. What are you doing out here? You wanna go in the snow? Okay, it is like 2.30 and the snow ended up kicking in full effect. So it's been snowing pr really hard like this for quite a while. So I'm uh, meeting Eric and Francisco over in a couple hours and we're gonna get started. I'm gonna start before them, they're gonna meet up with me. So I can't really let it go any longer because people are going to start to complain. It turned into a good snowstorm. I was worried there for a while it was going to peter out and uh, be next to nothing, but I was wrong about that. Everybody's out, all the municipalities throwing everything they have at it because uh, it's 2.30 right now. It's going to continue snowing like this and rush hour is going to start in about an hour and a half. Lots of private plow contractors out. I mean, everybody's been waiting for this. It's January 9th, and this is the first significant snowfall we've had. So these private guys, they have been itching to get out. Trucks out everywhere, pushing snow. It's a nice little dump truck. This guy's got plenty of salt on his truck. And the whole bed is loaded with salt. Sidewalk crew right there. My college guys are going out. Actually, I think they're out right now doing the sidewalks for the first time. They're probably not loving that. This snow is extremely heavy. I'm just pulling up to the old yard here. I'm gonna jump in the, uh, the big truck, the Chevy. Eric and Francisco are gonna meet me in an hour and a half, well, hour and 45 minutes. And Eric can jump in the big skid loader. Francisco, I'll have him do the walks with the small skid loader and then I'll have something to plow in myself. So I love this big truck. It actually rides a lot nicer with the plow hanging off the front. You know, some weight on the front suspension. Otherwise that truck is, oh, it's so uncomfortably bouncy. four-wheel drive is in make sure everything's working still with the plow sure if the college kids came out yet let's see oh yeah yes looks like they've been using the snowblower all the walks have been done so that's great they might still be out here yeah they did a nice job that's good we're gonna plow everything right now it's uh, three o'clock and then we're gonna come back when the storm is completely done and do a final cleanup. That's the plan for now. So far, every time I've come through, Mike was, has been here. I don't see him right now though. Mike, you slacking. <laughs> there's, uh, there's a few inches on this lot right now. So this is the suction cup mount that I was talking about. So you mount it right here. You know, you can swivel, you can put it up high. It looks down on your plow. This is the best mount that I've found for trying to capture snowplow footage that isn't like, you know, you looking back and forth on your head. Outside, obviously, the camera just gets wet. So, 
right there is a really good spot. And that's it right there. So we'll get started. I was going to clear it for you so you didn't have to walk through it. Oh well. I wasn't beeping for you to get out of the way. I thought you'd okay. move over and then I'd get you out of here. Well, this will help get our car. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How's it going for you? It was good. Ice cream in the snowstorm? It's a uh, snow cream. Oh, okay. Oh, so uh, okay. All right. Yeah, we shoveled it off. It's obviously sticking right back, but. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Do so, want, do we do it again in the morning? Or? Oh, yeah. Tomorrow morning is a big one where you got to put the salt. You got to do everything perfect. Okay. Yes. Is that really snow cream? You want a boat? I do not want to boil a boat. How did? How was it made? Because you got um, milk and sugar and normally vanilla, but she didn't have any vanilla. So it's just it snow. snow. Yeah, snow from right off the top. Okay. It's really good. <laughs> I've never heard of that. It's better than ice cream, in my opinion. Really? Oh, yeah. Hmm. All right. I just finished the whole parking lot. So now there's snow around all the edges. Everything's outlined. So the other guys will have an easier time determining where the edge of the parking lot is. They're going to be here in just a few minutes. Actually, I think they should be here right now. I'm already here. Uh, just start up the little skid loader. I'll be there in like 15 minutes. Okay. I'm around the corner. Bye. Yeah, bye. bye. Francisco's here. Pretty much done, you guys can go. <laughs> uh, no, I just plowed the church right now. Yeah, yeah, it was thick, yeah. it was thick and heavy. I don't like where the cars a lot of cars. Can you handle the sidewalks with the little skid steer? Do you yeah. know what you're doing? Yeah. All the city sidewalks, yeah. just that one right there, no? Uh, no, 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 all the way, yeah, yeah, all the way, and then all the way that way, too. Okay, go really slow, man. Like, be careful you don't fall off the sidewalk and get the skid loader stuck. Uh, I gotta run home. I gotta grab something from my house. I gotta get something. I gotta meet somebody at 5 30. 
So you take this and I got this done right now for now. And then I got that building done. <laughs> you got to get those houses right, just these right here. Yeah. You don't have to do the pastors. I'll get that with the truck. And you don't have to get those, that one over there, the one we poured. Yeah, yeah, the one we poured. I'll right. get that with the truck too. Okay. And then you got to turn around on the other side of the street. There's city sidewalk too in yeah, front of the condos. Yeah. Yeah. Just go really slow and just kind of learn, you know what I mean? And then don't tear up all the grass, just go slow. Whoops. Gonna be a lot of this going on tonight. I don't ever help anybody out of a ditch like that. Never put a strap on a vehicle or anything. You get blamed for the damage then. It's just not worth it. You let a professional with the right kind of insurance come in and, and you know, tow them out of there. It seems kind of mean just driving past people, but you just can't. I just got to grab something for somebody and then I'm going to go right back over there. What, what are you guys doing? Well, I just at the radar. Watching some Victory Watching, style? Uh, this channel called Victory something. I heard that's the best channel. Yeah. What are you laughing at? Yeah. Whoa. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Grace. Hi. What's so funny? We're laughing at this. It's hilarious. Oh, Annie. The garbage. I know some of you guys are gonna miss seeing Annie, so here she is. So hopefully the rain does stop. <laughs> Hi, Daniel. Are you wore out from all your work today? No. Not really. No. Easy. Yes. <laughs> what is so funny? The what? She, she wishes she were one of your kids. <laughs> oh, Miss Z? Yeah, I like this. So, yeah, I get the whole spread. Have a good day. Oh, <laughs> Dude, that, that was funny. All right, Eric's over here plowing at the condos. You ain't done yet, Eric? Oh, well, Francisco got really stuck. No way. Yeah. I have to like show them how to do it. Where is he? Over there. I left them. Uh, <laughs> I had to continue because I was. It took like 30 minutes. Oh man! I gotta go meet a guy over by the church. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just check up on Francisco. I don't have my phone. Yeah, I will. I'll come right back. I gotta meet this guy real okay. quick. There's a guy here from out of town, and uh, he's a good friend of one of my friends. He wanted to buy a hoodie, so I grabbed him a hoodie. I'm gonna meet meet up with him. He's in the parking lot somewhere. Probably talk to Francisco too. See if he's gaining confidence. It takes a while, man. Learning how to operate a skid loader. Like like right now, he's yeah, he's he's uh, he's got the bucket. He's not even touching the ground with the bucket. He's falling off the sidewalk here and there, but he'll get it. He's doing good. There he is. I brought him a hat too. A free hat. How's it going, man? What's going on? Oh, I know you. Oh, what's going on, man? How did it, how did things go on over the weekend? Good. We yeah. were hoping you were coming. Man, you know, I had my daughter's birthday party. Wow. So priorities. I did want to come though. I brought you a hat too. You don't oh, have to pay for that. Thank you. Cool man. Appreciate it. Yeah. Well, good luck with the racing. Yeah, thank you. So, all right, have a good one. So that is Derek. I didn't know who was coming. He didn't say who it was, but he was on a video a couple winters ago. He's one of the mechanics, the the racing snowmobile mechanics, and he's from the East Coast. That's why he has that accent. But yeah, we hung out that one day. I went to what was it, North Dakota, and I went to the races there. I'm gonna leave these guys alone for a little while. I think. Let them work without me. That'll be good for him. Oh no, Francisco! No, no, no! He's tearing everything up so bad, man. Oh, he just trashed the front lawn of the place. Try to stay on the sidewalk, dude. I know. That's You're not... tearing the lawn up bad, man. Yeah, over there, what happened? All over, I see it. Oh, down there, it was because I was going straight, and never see you guys do it by section. You pick up some and go back and then come back. That's what you were saying. That's why I did like that. The first time. You get oh. better. Oh, okay. And when you plow, you put the bucket all the way flat down. You don't want to like tip it up. Tip it, yeah. Because it'll catch on everything. 
All right. Don't be so aggressive here. Slow down a little. Don't be so aggressive. I see you flying up these bumps and you're like, bow, bow, bow. Just slow down and be more smooth. Try not to tear the equipment off. This stuff's expensive. Just go a little slower, take it easy. When you come over this stuff, it's not that bad. <laughs> when you come over this stuff, if you angle the plow a little bit, it'll ride over. Okay. If you have it square on where you know there's a lip, it's gonna catch. I got a couple driveways I gotta go do real quick. And then uh, I'm gonna go to dinner. And then meet these guys back here at three. And then we'll do the whole thing again. Okay, I'm back home. I didn't get any dinner. The restaurant was closed due to the weather. So I'll see you guys early in the morning, 3 a.m. Good morning. It is barely morning. It is about 12.50. So I slept for about an hour gonna go back out now and do a final cleanup the snow is just about finished it didn't really snow too much from the last time you saw me uh, just a little bit but everything needs to be plowed again we're gonna go to the salt pile get the f-350 get everything salted final cleanup college guys are coming in, in at around five and they're gonna do the sidewalks eric and francisco are gonna meet me at around three so um i'm gonna throw my boots on take out this garbage I uh, can't really go to my rig or coffee shop because they don't don't open till five, but I'm pretty sure I can go to Speedway. All right, let's get out of here. Morning, Annie. Morning, Annie. Hey. Sorry, Annie. But we still need to take the garbage out. How much garbage do we make? Good work. So tonight we're supposed to get another one to two inches. Friday we're gonna get another big one potentially. And then right after the big one on Friday, it is gonna drop below zero. So winter is officially here. I'm not looking forward to the below zero. Snow I can handle, I don't mind winter, but nobody likes it that cold, I am sorry. If you like it that cold, something's wrong with you. Speedway gas station. The only good place to get a cup of coffee around here in the middle of the night. They're open 24 hours and the coffee's not that great. Bean the cup, which is not my favorite, but it's better than nothing. Hello. All right, just coffee. You got a reward? No. Let's taste this stuff. Tastes like hot water. Just like Quick Trip being the cup. This has a bit more flavor than Quick Trip. This is just about hot water. Quick Trip is hot water. I'm gonna go over there, start plowing as much as I can. I'm gonna have about an hour and a half. And then when Eric and Francisco get there, I'm gonna hand off my machine. Francisco come back can go back in the small machine and then I'm gonna come back to the old yard get the F-350 load it with salt and then come behind Eric and start salting and then we'll be right back out tonight <laughs> winter is here that's cool though we can't complain um, yeah uh, I had a, an experience uh, a number of years ago uh, I mentioned a few times on coast to coast as an example there is one soul uh, which I call dog so and dog so insults every single dog on the face of the earth. Then cat so insults every single domesticated cat. And I said, well, what about the lions and tigers? All of your pets are insulted. And if you want that pet to come back to you for another life after it transitions. There is nothing more entertaining than some coast to coast radio in the middle of the night when you're plowing nothing more entertaining than that you will not hear 
stranger things in all the world than you do on coast to coast. There are some strange things they talk about. The people here at the condos, they're very, very, very picky. Like all this snow sticking out, it's not gonna fly. They expect near perfection, but they pay really, really, really good. So I put up with it. We're just gonna plow everything one more time. Francisco's got a path down the city sidewalks now. He should be able to stay on it better. We're gonna get more snow tonight, which is nice because it'll cover up all the mud that he made, all the tracks, so nobody will complain. It'll buy me some time. And it looks like they did a really nice job corralling all the cars. They put all the cars here in the middle for me. All right, we are ready to go. Eric, it's way too early for that. It's not even three in the morning. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Take this and go to the gas station, then I'll have to meet you there. Okay, boss. And then uh, on your way back, you gotta get the house that we poured. Okay, I'm gonna follow Eric to the gas station and fuel that machine up. And Eric will hit this lot here while I run back and get a load of salt. Francisco's here. What's up? Let that warm up for like a good five minutes and then do all the walks. So all the driveways are done. I plowed all the driveways. So as you plow through the approaches and through the driveways, you can't just drive through and leave a trail of snow in the driveway. You gotta turn around and clean it all up as you go through. Cause everything's gotta be perfect this time. I'm coming back with salt. Oh, I know what I wanna tell you. So when you're plowing the skid loader, you did this all over the place. When you're, say this is the curb, like the edge somewhere, you're taking the snow with the plow and you're hitting the curb and then you're just leaving it right there and then you're backing it up. So you got the curb and then you got a wall of snow. So there's no room for the next snowfall. So when you come up to the curb, you hit it and then you lift the plow and you push the snow back okay, okay. all the way until your tires pretty much hit the curb, if you can get it that far. So I pushed everything back that you left like that. Oh, yeah, you gotta push it back farther. Uh, I just put the card in and it says insert the card to begin. And it locked. It locked my card in there. Why does it always have to be something like this? Oh, okay, well it just takes three minutes. It's working now. <laughs> it's probably like I don't like these, man. These lock your card in. No, I don't like them either. All right, I gotta go get the other truck. Okay, I'm here at the old yard. See if the 7-3 fires up. Come on. Right away. Put a few scoops in here and then away we go. Alright, let's get a few scoops. Uh, you gotta come back by the condos. You forgot a whole area. Yeah? Yeah, I'm over here. Just come over here. I'll be late. All right. The sidewalk here, all the way around. I thought we said stop at the stop sign. I asked for history. He's like, no, just stop at the stop sign. No, you gotta go all the way. All right. Francisco's about done with the walks. I'm just finishing up salting. A couple more here and we're done. The 
the salt's working really good because it's relatively warm. It's, uh, I don't know what it is. It's probably upper 20s right now. The sodium chloride, the regular rock salt, works really good when it's warmer. When it gets really cold, it don't do much. Yep, he's doing a good job. Cleaning right to the edges. He's not leaving a whole ton of crumbs. Crumbs drive me crazy. You guys know what I'm talking about when you get the trail off crumbs and then people leave them i don't know that doesn't bother some people but that drives me nuts we're almost done oh yeah eric's doing a nice job professional all i got left to do is salt this parking lot and i'm going home i got about 20 minutes left of salting and then i'm done What's up? Are you done? What's up, way? I try to get as close as I can with the cars, man, but I, I don't get too close. Yeah. You don't have to get cute with it. Oh. Yeah. No, he did a pretty nice job. Everything looks good. I know. All you can do is your best, right, Eric? Always. Mm hmm. All right. It's supposed to snow tonight, so keep your phones on later. So sleep during the day because tonight you probably won't sleep again. And then Friday, blizzard. Blizzard? Yeah, big one again. All right, see you later. Yep. Adios. Yep. Thank you. Okay, that's it for today. That storm did not live up to the hype. They hyped this storm like it was going to be the biggest storm we ever had. <laughs> uh, but it was probably, I don't know, five inches, not even six inches for sure. And it just wasn't that big of a deal. The winds weren't that bad. It wasn't blowing around, drifting. It was heavy and wet, but honestly, it, it just wasn't that big of a deal. More snow tonight, and then possibly another big one uh, on Friday. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios. Adios.